China's policy on Tibet and publicizing the conflict of Tibet. If you would entrust me with the responsibility, what I would do, A, except for a policy of openness pursued for a few years in the 1980s, successive leadership of China have over the past more than 60 years implemented a relentless policy of altering the identity of the Tibetan people. The situation in Tibet under this policy has become more precarious these days. Hence, the Kasha will make an in-depth study of the policies of the government of China inside Tibet and its implications. Based on results of these detailed observations, the Kasha will implement strategies by all means necessary. B. Till a final resolution to the conflict of Tibet is found, we will be relentless in exposing the government of China's flawed policies adversely impacting the land and inhabitants and by this means, we will impress upon the Chinese leadership to change or take corrective measures whenever or wherever these occur. C. In order to base all Tibet-related issues on reality and meaningfulness, my Kasha will leverage technology towards public-private cooperative effort. When advocating for Tibet, we will not only provide timely information, but also give clear guidance on central Tibetan administration's views and ask when approaching governments, parliaments, think tanks, and media. D. To further the just cause of Tibet and for community development, I feel it's the need of the hour to establish a voluntary Tibet advocacy group led mainly by young Tibetans. Efforts will be made to garner more political and financial support by reaching out to the United Nations and countries which cherish freedom and justice. We will provide guidance and assign responsibilities to all stakeholders to bring out the best of their willpower, intelligence, and skill of the Tibetan youth, e, to make this group effective. I am already in the process of planning to facilitate avenues and resources in the form of organizing discussions, workshops, provide China and Tibet related information and functions to the CTA through the internet or other new means.